ladies so i'm coming to you guys because i just finished filming a wig review for this unit that i'm wearing so if you guys did not get to see it please check it out it was it is my latest video okay um and after i was done i went down to check the mail and i had a package from the company beauty forever okay as you guys know i have done i believe about three videos back i did a review for this company okay and i am fond of their hair so they sent me more hair to review for you guys okay so i'm going to show you what they sent they sent me four bundles of their natural wave hair in 16 18 20 and 22 and they sent me a closure and this is the closure and I'm going to take one of the bundles out so you guys can see how the hair looks okay and as you can see it is a, a wave like it stated a natural wave hair all right and I'm going to show you the closure this is a middle part closure and they send me a loose body type of closure okay but it's gonna flow perfect with the bundles especially how i'm gonna construct the unit in the past i've um lately i've been doing my closures with the elastic bands but this time i'm actually going to sew the closure onto my dome cap okay so you guys already know the drill when it comes to the closures i like to bleach the knots and tint the lace so i will be doing that in the next step so let's get started on constructing this unit and I also want to point out that Beauty Forever they have their store on, on Amazon I know a lot of ladies were asking me about the Aliexpress Beauty Forever but this particular company that I'm um, dealing with they store is on Amazon okay and they actually have an office out in California so you will get your packages kind of soon alright so let's go on and head to the next clip I have bleached my knots and tinted my lace and I let the closure dry overnight okay so next as you guys can see I have my dome cap on already now I am going to take the closure and I'm going to take a white eyeliner and I'm going to mark where I want my closure to lay on my cap where I'm going to sew it so I'm going to take the closure and I'm going to line it up. I'm going to lean forward. I'm going to take the tip of the hairline and I'm going to line it up to the tip of the dome, dome cap. So it stops about right there. And then I'm going to take a duck bill clip and I'm just going to clip it in place so it doesn't move while I'm marking. And then I'm going to do the other side the same way and then I'm gonna take the eyeliner and I'm gonna mark on each side so about right there and about right here okay so that's gonna be my guide where I'm going to place the closure when I'm sewing it. So I have the closure pinned to my mannequin head and I just use some hair pins. You guys can use T-pins or whatever you need to pin your closure down to the mannequin head. And I also clipped the hair on the closure out of the way. So you will need some thread which I picked up from the beauty supply store. And then you will need your sewing needle okay also when you are pinning your closure you want to make sure that you have your closure pin exactly where you want it and you also want to make sure that you're pinning it a little tight because you don't want any gaps when you are sewing okay so let's get started so first I'm going to start right here at the front I'm just going to take my needle and I'm going to go through the edge of the closure I'm going to open up the thread and just slide my needle through and I am going to make a knot just like that 
okay and then I'm just going to move along the edge of the closure so I'm going to go back in and make making sure that I'm going through the closure and the dome cap and I am just going to pull that thread through just like that and then I'm just going to continue to stitch along the dome cap and the closure so I have one side of the closure sewn and I'm going to lean it in so you guys can see this is how the stitching is looking and I'm just going to continue sewing along the edge of the closure now I did my stitching kind of close not well you don't want to do it as if you were like sewing pants you know like if you were stitching up pants or anything like that but I want my closure to be nice and flat and I also want it to remain secure so that's why I kind of did them close so we have the dome cap back on and the closure is sewn onto the dome cap I also have my plastic bag underneath if you want you can go ahead and sew the webs onto the dome cap but as you ladies know I kind of like to keep my video simple um, just so you guys can achieve it because a lot of women don't know how to sew so this way is still cool and you basically receive the same results so I'm going to take my first bundle this is the 22 inch and instead of laying the cloak the the web straight across I'm going to lay it in like a U so I'm going to take the first end and I'm going to measure from where that closure begins from right there to right there and I'm going to cut it and we just going to lay the track and doing it this way the wig will still look the same it's just that, it's just that if you want to pull your hair back into a ponytail you'll be able to achieve that without actually seeing all of the tracks okay so I'm going to take my glue and I'm just going to place it on the track and I'm going to do this all the way until all of the bundles are used so I have been doing gluing off camera but I'm going to turn around so you all can see how the back is looking and as you can see the tracks have curved into a U and so I'm just going to finish filling in the U so I am laying my last track and the next step I'm going to remove the unit pull the plastic cap out from underneath and I'm going to what no first I'm sitting under the dryer and then I'm going to pull the plastic cap out from underneath so our unit is dry now I'm going to take the unit and I'm going to cut I'm going to show you guys you see that gap I'm going to cut the stocking cap from underneath because we want our lace on our closure to show so I'm gonna try to do it where you guys can see it on camera so I'm just going to go in and start cutting and you see how I'm cutting it away and I'm gonna go all the way around in the U removing the stocking cap so I have the closure on all right and as you can see the closure and the bundles wave pattern is slightly different so I am going to take my wand make sure it's turned on and I'm just going to curl the front so that it uh, it kind of match the bundles the closure match the bundles so I'm going to take the front part and I'm going to curl it away from my face so I'm going to twist the hair 
and then I'm just going to start wrapping it around the wand. And then I'm just going to let it go. And then I'm just going to continue doing this all the way around. So ladies, I am on my last piece. And this is how it turned out. I am loving it. The closure looks like it is blending with the bundles very well. Yes, ladies, definitely check out Beauty Forever. Okay, and once again, I am wearing the Natural Wave. So I hope you ladies enjoy this video. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you in the next video.